Now, in this module, we'll take a look at high availability and redundancy case study for a mid-sized enterprise organization, which has about 3,000 uh, total staff, 2,000 IT users, about 30 people in the IT team, one data center, which is a primary data center, one secondary regional data center, and uh, which would be a warm site and a backup site, and then one separate DR site. So they have three data centers overall, including the, the DR site. And this um, uh, case study was planned and designed on a 99.9% uh, or a three nines uptime. So this is a diagram showing the same hybrid site redundancy architecture. They have a primary site, they have a secondary site, which they are maintaining as a warm site. And also what they're doing here is that they are taking backups and they have a test environment which is running here. And then we have the DR site also, which is maintained separately. So the IT setup is that they have an Oracle ERP system, which is uh, pervasive throughout the organization. They have several modules of the ERP running. Um, they have a SharePoint portal because they're very efficient and um, they have workflow automation. So they have SharePoint servers and then um, their entire workflows, business operations are automated through uh, these um, SharePoint uh, portals. Their head office is in Karachi and their primary data center um, is hosted with a third party in Karachi and their DR site is now in Lahore um, hosted by a third party also um, and it's the same third party and they provide uh, bandwidth uh, connectivity between the head office and the primary data center in Karachi and the DR site in Lahore and then the secondary data center is in Islamabad so this is a nationwide organization and they have these data center facilities in all three cities but the DR site is in Lahore so the primary data center has uh, fully redundant, high availability design for the network systems and storage. Um, some of it, uh, the network is active standby uh, configuration. So the, the network uh, routers, the firewalls, the IPS are all in active standby. And then we have the Oracle cluster technology for servers and databases, which are active active. And the secondary data center in Islamabad here we see that um, all the network systems and storage backups are maintained over here. So they back up um, their information in the secondary data center. And the regional servers, um, because their organization is nationwide, they have regional servers for the Islamabad region for Active Directory, file servers, and you know, for also some uh, servers to push out, let's say, the antivirus uh, to computers in this region. So they have all these regional servers also in the secondary data center, and they have a test and staging environment here, which is segregated from the data center entirely. So that's a good security design in which the uh, staging and the, and the testing environment is totally separate, and then you can really focus on the security controls. And then they have office working space also in Islamabad uh, facility. The DR site has a very cut down, stripped down, uh, bare minimum high availability as the DR site, and uh, this is for the network systems and storage, okay? Now, um, this is a convention that in the DR site, you really don't have much high availability because the DR site is supposed to kick in only in the event of a disaster. And um, uh, the cost control element um, forces us to not have high availability to the optimum or to the extreme level in, in, in the DR site. The DR site also has a mirror of all the backups uh, from the secondary site in Islamabad, it has office working space. Some additional computing capacity um, is also there. Um, um, some you know, additional capacity is maintained for unforeseen events uh, as, warm, uh, as a warm computing uh, facility. And in the DR site, all the critical systems and devices are maintained in active mode, uh, which is uh, a hot mode, for immediate DR failure. So all the systems are being synchronized and this is almost a mirror image on the DR side. And the data is maintained as per organizational RTO, RPO for immediate utility. And we have monthly DR testing and uh, drills which are taking place at the DR side. The backup strategy is as follows. Um, the primary backup at the secondary DR site uh, uh, so uh, whatever facilities are being maintained on the primary side, they're all backed up on a separate regional 
uh, data center, which is the Islamabad uh, uh, backup site or secondary site, and you have a mirror of all the backups at the DR site. For critical systems, you have a monthly full backup being done, and then you have daily incremental backups. And for critical network devices, what, we're, what they're doing is they're having weekly full backups and then uh, backups based on uh, the differential basis or, or whenever there's a change. Thank you.